In the fall of 2013, the president of the Notre Dame Club of Erie, Pennsylvania, went to the Kakama refugee camp to visit a family. The club is helping the family secure UN approval to resettle in Erie. Boy, this is like old times. It's like coming home. Uh, this is my third trip uh, to Kakuma, and I'm going back to the home to visit old friends. And I understand the home has changed a little bit. I still recognize where it is in the camp, but I guess they've added a few buildings. These, by the way, have to re be replaced every few months. Uh, these are keep uh, human predators out of the compound for security purposes. Yeah. And there are human predators here. <laughs> you got an even bigger. Yeah. Bigger. Hey, what's, happy to see you again. Welcome. This is Sylvain. Sylvain. This is the wife? Right, you're my wife. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, too beautiful for words. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I'm we're hoping someday yeah. you live with us yeah. in Pennsylvania. Yes. In Erie, in 2009, the Notre Dame Club helped another Congolese family resettle. They're thriving. The mother manages the home. The father is a long-haul truck driver. Their three daughters are excelling in school and sports. The family's hope for a safe, productive life in America has come true. Back in Kakama, this family continues hoping for resettlement in Neary. Everyone in a household has to contribute so the family can survive. Hope is actually a trained seamstress. She helps the family by taking in clothing, altering, and uh, sewing original dresses. This is the big man's brother, James. James was an electrician in Congo, very skilled, and now James is in charge of running the uh, compressors, okay, the generators. So I guess we can say James brings light to the community. Rachel is cleaning, and cleanliness is the most important thing in a Congolese home. And again, hands are washed before each meal, after each meal. I'm going for an early morning shower. And here is young Victory, or Vicky as he's known. And he's got his new school uniform on, and he's leaving for first day at school. This is a special day for Vicky at school. And it will be a special evening for the entire family at home. Oh, wow. Yeah. They're all helping prepare a meal to celebrate the arrival of Ed Grody, whom they've come to consider family. Fanning the flame, trying to get the charcoal to burn. As you can see, nothing comes easy. He's emancipated. He's helping with the cookie. He does make the best chips in the camp. People don't have this feast every day. I know they've knocked themselves out. <laughs> they have food that they normally do not have, so please do not think this is representative yeah. of how refugees <laughs> have meals. Yeah. This is like Thanksgiving and Christmas combined. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's good to be back home with my children, with my family. <laughs> Thank you.